Atomic Blonde is directed by David Leach and stars Shalice Theron, James McAvoy, John Goodman, Sophia Butella, and Toby Jones. Our main character is Lorraine Broughton, played by Shalice Theron, and she is an MI6 agent sent to Berlin just before the Berlin Wall is about to be knocked down in 1989. She has to retrieve this microfilm that contains a list of all of their agents working in East Berlin. She has to work with James McAvoy, who is another MI6 agent who's living in Berlin. He knows all this stuff about Berlin. He knows the intricacies. He knows where to go. He knows who is working for who. And it's this crazy world of spies and double crosses. And this movie is mainly about the action sequences because the director, David Leach, worked with Chad Stahelski on the first John Wick movie. They created 8711 Productions, which does so many stunts for so many movies. They have worked together and separately on so many huge, big stunt pieces. This director, who's also gonna be working on Deadpool 2, knows how to direct great action. And Atomic Blonde, has those great action sequences. There is one in particular, this awesome long take, which doesn't have as many, you know, secret digital cuts that a lot of other long takes might have. Instead, it's just this flowing piece throughout this abandoned hotel as Shalice Theron's character, Lorraine, is just fighting off wave after wave of bad guys. She's getting beat the crap out of, but she's beating them so much more and it keeps going it keeps going and that is electrifying to watch and there are some other smaller hand-to-hand -hand -hand combat scenes throughout this movie they're all beautifully directed this movie is also very well shot i also really enjoyed theron's performance especially when she is interacting with sophia patella's character they have a very interesting relationship a kind of a shocking one one that just took me completely by surprise. It broke down a lot of gender stereotypes that we usually have going into spy movies. And I really wish that this movie would dive further into that relationship as opposed to this complex network of spies and double crosses and all this stuff. That's the problem with this movie. It's very confusing and it's very thinly written. James McAvoy, John Goodman, Toby Jones, there, there's so many other names that I'm not mentioning because I don't even remember who they were meant to be in this movie. Everyone is working for other people. It's just double crosses after double crosses after backsteps. It kind of reminded me of that community episode. I can't remember which season it was, but it ended with Jeff and Annie and the Dean and the drama teacher all pulling guns on each other saying, I wanted you to do this and this and this. And then it's just this crazy sort of thing. That episode was hilarious because it knew how crazy and stupid this whole thing was meant to be. Atomic Blonde is taking that idea and making it serious. It's meant to be, oh no, this person was really working with this person and oh plot twist and it's just like, I don't care because you've been doing this constantly for like the last hour of this movie. The first hour is deeply engaging. I was totally on board with the story. I liked where the characters were going. And then the last hour just falls off the rails. Leech's direction is very stylistic. He knows how to use these crazy sort of visuals and these very interesting transitions between scenes quite well. That was a blast to watch actually. And the cinematography is pretty beautiful. There is a great contrast of colors in pretty much every single scene, whether it be black and white, red and blue, blue and yellow, uh, green and pink, all these just crazy lighting techniques. And that was fantastic. But this movie just really doesn't feel memorable. I cannot tell you what the entire plot was meant to be because it just kept piling on things after things after character after a subplot, subplot, all this just stuff thrown at you and it just doesn't coalesce. And it's kind of disappointing because I was anticipating Atomic Blonde to be something closer to the John Wick movies, which do have kind of crazy plots, but they know how to smooth them out and have some decent themes and use these characters that they set up very well, creates an interesting world. The world in Atomic Blonde is very boring and flat, just, it's a very uninteresting place to be in. Charlize Theron and Sophia Bittella are giving some really good work. I love both of those actresses. You can watch those incredible action sequences on their own and just appreciate the incredible craft that's being put into them, but just kind of ignore the rest of it because 
it just really isn't much of anything and I have to say that Atomic Blonde is probably a movie you're better off watching on a plane. So Atomic Blonde, have you seen it? Please tell me what you think about it in the comments below. There are going to be videos linked down here or one over there. For more Mr. Movies, please press my little face right there. Thanks for watching.